Welcome back to Chipped. I'm your host, Chip Hall. This is the first full episode. Here's another quick intro. Stand-up comedian and yoga teacher in New York City and a former weather forecaster for the United States Air Force. Last week, dropped a teaser and a pilot. The pilot was a learning experience. It definitely needs to be redone. But some people watched it, and if you're one of them, thanks for tuning back in. If you're new, which is much more likely, the show is once a week for now. Every Wednesday, there's going to be a special video tomorrow. So hit subscribe, ring the bell to get notifications, and click the thumbs up. Leave some love in the comments below. Now that we've got that out of the way, on today's show, we'll start out with a sun salutation from Yogi Chip, check in briefly with our weather person, Airman Hall, then we'll have our first taste of comedy stew, and Yogi Chip says he has something special planned to close out the show. So cue the intro. I still haven't made one yet. Guess it's yoga time. Be sure to check out iYogiNYC on Instagram and Facebook. How's things in the yoga world? All is one and one is all, my friend. Yeah, I've, I've listened to Stairway too. In this case, you and I are literally one. I know, but sometimes it really doesn't feel like it. Too true, but letting go and moving on to yoga. Namaste, everyone. We will begin our yoga journey with one of the most common sequences in yoga, a sun salutation, or Surya Namaskar in Sanskrit. There are many different styles, ranging from simple to advanced. We're starting on the simple side today. You can pause your video here, grab your yoga mat, practice right along with me, or this is simple enough, you can do it anywhere, as long as you're willing to put your hands on the ground. Beginning in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Inhale, bring the arms up overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, and fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, step the right foot back to lunge. Exhale, left foot next to right, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale to a Plank Pose. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward facing dog. Inhale the right foot forward again to launch. Exhale, left foot next to right, folding forward. Inhale, press into the feet, bring the arms up overhead. Exhale, Tadasana. Now typically, we would hold in downward dog for five breaths. We would repeat on the left side and the whole sequence would get repeated at least three times. That would take way too long. If you're practicing with me, you can go back and repeat with guidance or continue practicing on your own as the rest of the video plays. The next segment is the weather. You don't really have to watch anyway. You can just listen and practice. Thank you for your practice. As the great prophet William Melvin Hicks said, there is no such thing as death. Life is only a dream and we are the imagination of ourselves. Now here's Armin Hall with the weather. Namaste. Well, thank you, ma'am. Why would you tell people to not watch and just listen while they stretch? Don't be stupid. You know what we would have called you in the military? We'd get us banned from YouTube. You think you're some kind of hippy-dippy drill instructor? Letting go. Letting go. That's what I thought. As mentioned up front and in the pilot video, I enlisted in the Air Force in 2001. Honor graduate from weather school, stationed at Elmendorf Air Force Base in Alaska, and one of the most accurate forecasters in my squadron. Honorable discharge, I have so much experience in this field. It would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Eventually, there will be proper forecasts with graphics, animation. Problem is, things have changed a lot since I last forecasted 15 years ago. No idea, no idea, no idea how to make proper weather graphics now. I'll step off to the side and if I figure out how to throw something up during post-production, I'll throw up a satellite now. Oh, look at that, or don't. Maybe it's behind me. I might be able to use this blue as a chroma key, like a blue screen, green screen. After that, I'd love to show a radar loop. Maybe that's behind me now too. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. The big weather story right now is still Hurricane Barry. Even though it's weakened since it made landfall, there's still substantial flooding because of all the rain, especially along the Mississippi Valley. I wrote this Monday, recording it early Tuesday. The best possible forecast I can give for New York City, where I live, is that it will probably start raining afternoon sometime on Wednesday in varying intensity throughout Thursday into early Friday. Once that rain pushes through, looks like we'll have a relatively nice weekend. Clouds scattering Friday 
evening and turning into a pretty clear Saturday. Highs in the low 90s, overnight lows, upper 70s, possibility of some rain on Sunday, but it's a little too early to tell right now. That's probably enough for today. Damn hippie took up too much time. Watch your six, Zen Master. Proper graphics are coming soon. Accurate forecasts have already begun. Airman Hall, over and out. Hello again. That wasn't too weird, was it? Let me know in the comments. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. The last segment of the show is called Comedy Stew. I'll be covering what happened last week in late night comedy shows across all platforms. This was a great week to launch. Mostly everything is off the air right now. Almost nothing to cover if I did a show last week due to the 4th of July and summer breaks. Speaking of the 4th, there's a great video of Gilbert Godfrey doing the speech from the end of Independence Day. And if that doesn't interest you, you can probably stop watching me now. Link to that and all my favorite bits of the week in the description below. Only Conan and Kimmel were on last week. And while they're not usually my main sources, there were some great comedy moments. Tracy Morgan was on Kimmel on Monday, being Tracy Morgan. On Tuesday, Beth Stelling performed stand-up on Kimmel from Vegas. A hilarious Chippendale story that you gotta see for yourself. Donald Glover was also on that night, wearing a lion outfit to promote Lion King. Same night on Conan, the guest was the hilarious comic Tig Notaro, while Aussie Becky Lucas performed stand-up, and both were hilarious. While not exactly comedy relevant, Dave Bautista was on Kimmel to promote Stuber on Wednesday. Co-star Kumail Nanjiani's stand-up comic dropped by to surprise him. They did a bit premiering a fake trailer for Bautista Netflix stand-up comedy special titled I've Never Done This Before. Only reason I bring that up is the next night on on Conan, Kumail was scheduled to be the guest, but 30 minutes before the show started filming, Conan found out Kumail couldn't make it. He was stuck in production for Silicon Valley. This whole episode is a must watch for any fan or just comedy in general. He earned a whole new level of respect during the monologue best part. And what gets my vote for the best bit of the week? When it came time for the interview, Conan interviewed his assistant. And it is phenomenal. Kumail FaceTimed in at the end of the show, but it pales in comparison to the hilarity of the monologue and interviewing the assistant. As great as that was, it wasn't the week's most viewed clip here on YouTube. That title, and some others, belonged to Alex Morgan and Megan Rapino. Women's World Cup champions were on Kimmel on Thursday. He offered them a White House experience, a fake Oval Office, and 5,000 chicken nuggets. That's all the TV comedy news from last week. But here on YouTube, if you've ever watched Epic Rap Battles of History, just put out George Carlin versus Richard Pryor, and it is everything you'd hope it would be and more. That's all for the comedy stew today. Most Late Night is back on this week, including Full Frontal with Sam B tonight, July 17th, Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, back July 28th, Real Time with Bill Maher, back August 2nd, Hassan Minaj's Patriot Act Season 4 should be August 4th, and Weekend Update on SNL Season 45 will be back the end of September. That's all for today's show as well. Please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to get notifications. Like I said, there's going to be a special video tomorrow. Thumbs up and leave some love in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this format. Was this better than the last video? I'm pretty sure it was. And since I'm already imploring, follow me on Instagram at Karma Comedian and iYogiNYC. That and Facebook pages are linked in the description. If watching my video suddenly inspired you to give me money, fear not. There is a GoFundMe and Patreon right now. Links are below as well. I hope you enjoyed the show. Here's Yogi Chip with some sort of meditation to close us out. Sit down. Be still. Let go. Simple enough. Thanks for watching. I'm Chip Paul and someday we'll be back with a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned.